James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 5th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a very quiet day here on Earth as far as solar weather is concerned thus far today. Now, we do have a NOAA warning out for today for a possible geomagnetic disturbance or geomagnetic storm that may or may not be inbound. So I want to make sure you're aware of that. But currently, there's a bigger situation in play. We've just had two X-class solar flares in a row from two separate sunspots. Headed over to our GOES X-ray on our GOES satellite, we see that we've had two X-class solar flares within the last few hours. The first one we had was an X1.73. It peaked at 1340 UTC time. Now, that's 640 this morning Central Time. That was followed up just recently by another X1.15 that popped off right around 1530 UTC time or peaked around 15.30 UTC time. And thus far, both of those are not listed, although we'll be able to tell where they both came from easily when it goes solar ultraviolet imager. Headed over to spaceweatherlive.com, we see that X1.73 solar flare that came out of 3767. That's a simple sunspot on the departing limb of our sun that peaked at 1340 again an x 1.73 we've just had an x 1.15 and that came from i believe 3780 which also produced the stronger m 6.1 flare earlier today everyone is saying that ar 3780 is the main part of the sunspot that produced the X-14 solar flare last week. Now today we have a 25% chance of having another X-class flare, I guess, although two or two too many. Uh, we have a 75% chance of having an M-class solar flare and a 99% chance of a C-class solar flare, although our baseline looks to be about a C-6 currently. The highest baseline flare I remember ever seeing. So we're dealing with two sunspot groups, one on the departing limb and one on the uh, arriving limb. Over to HMI Intensogram, where we came and see 3767. It's going to be right here. I will show you a chart where we can see it taken today. Here is 37. 80, which just produced the X flare, the latest X flare that we'll be able to see, the X1.15 solar flare. Let's take a look at another picture of our solar disk where we can see 3767, which is departing and very well could be geoeffective towards Earth because of our geomagnetic connection to the departing limb of our sun known as our Parker Spiral Geomagnetic Connection. All right, this was taken today, just a few hours before the other picture. You can see 3767 right here. So it's going to be right on the departing limb, responsible for the X1.73 solar flare. Again, probably geomagnetically effective towards Earth, being right there on our connection to our sun. It's amazing how many sunspots that we have here. Let's see, three, six, nine, ten, not too many, although there's some that should be named. And then 3780, which has moved further over to the right, as you will see. Uh, we will actually be able to see the flare from it. I believe it's the sunspot group that created the X1.15. Now, that flare peaked right around 15. 40 UTC time, although we'll be able to get 
a exact number using our D region absorption prediction center model in just one moment. Let's take a look at GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager where we can see both X flares pop off. All right, GOES 16 Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. You can see the one two punch. First, we see the X 1.73 flare on the departing limb coming from sunspot AR3776, a simple sunspot. Scary. Next, we have a more complex sunspot that is said to have produced the X14 flare on the back side. It's going to be sunspot AR3780, and you can distinctively see the X flare also generated by that sunspot. Now, both these could be geoeffective towards Earth, although I'd put more money on the explosion, believe it or not. On the departing limb because of our geomagnetic or Parker spiral connection to that departing limb. That's our connection to the Sun and that connection itself will have energy traveling through it. Head over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. The first flare here is an M1.7 that was not assigned to a sunspot group. It might have been a filament eruption. We'll continue to keep on going. Some very weird action in front of the sun there that I've not seen before. We'll continue to take a look at these two X flares. The first X flare we know peaked at about 1340. And that was the X 1.73 solar flare. That one came from the departing limb, again, AR3776. And over the Americas here, we have our next X flare, peaked at 1530, just as we guessed, 1529. And that was our X1.15 solar flare coming out of the newly named Sunspot Group, 3780, which could or could not be responsible for the X14 solar flare on the back side of our sun last week. I believe one big sunspot was responsible for that, and this very well could be part of that sunspot. And now getting down to our baseline, our C6 plus baseline, everyone is enjoying a large dose of radiation on the third rock from the sun currently. Headed over to STO HMI Magnetogram to take a look at this sunspot group. It really looks reverse polarity with white over black in the southern hemisphere. It is a monster. It's going to be 3780. And that was just a little touch of what it's capable of doing. We don't see 3776 any longer. And it should not be a problem. Uh, that actual explosion might have been eclipsed by the sun's limb and been much stronger but it also might not be geoeffective towards earth it might have been around the limb far enough now uh, we have a bunch of sunspot group messes on our hands here and we're going to see exactly what occurs remember we have 10 earth facing sunspots currently with this grouping not been named yet soho 284 angstroms we can actually see that x flare pop off here along with the active groups 3780 and the unnamed sunspot coming around all together at one point today we had 10 earth-facing sunspot groups we very well could have 11 or more currently it's like there wants to be some coral holes forming in the northern hemisphere, although they don't look well very strong. Now, while I was hoping to show you the first X flare that popped off, well, NASA has done nothing. This is their Goodard is with spiral, and they usually model it the day after it gets here. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.